Is it true that the more you give, the more you get? Giving is one of the best investments you can make towards achieving genuine happiness. It is sometimes true that the more you give, the more you receive. Yet this motto can betray us. Sometimes we don't feel like we've received as much as we've given. Picture this. You've been giving yourself away all day, pouring all your energy into teaching ungrateful little kids. And you come home and nobody cares how your day went. You might become bitter when you feel depleted and no one replenishes you. Paul says in Acts, it is better to give than to receive. This mentality takes the focus off whether we are receiving. It requires me to trust that God will take care of what I need. In giving, I focus on how I should relate to people and release how they relate to me. You may come home exhausted from teaching all day, but being at home is not now selfishly me time. It's a time to turn the day over to God, asking him to replenish you, to process the challenges with him and give thanks for the way that God is calling you to grow through these challenges. The beauty of this way of thinking is that focusing on giving allows you the joy and surprise of receiving. When a friend calls up and says, how was your day? Your response isn't, well, it's about time you asked. Rather, from your heart, it can be a gratitude for the gift of their concern. This is how mutual care works. I give to you not out of obligation, but because I delight to give and I'm serving God when I give. Then as I am focusing on giving, I can receive another's response as a gift. We can see this attitude that it is more blessed to give than to receive reflected in relationships of mutual care. We learn what real mutual affection is by focusing on giving. Think about these examples. A genuine hug is about giving. You can receive a hug just standing there stiffly, but it's nothing to giving a hug. When you actively squeeze a person and give them a hug, it feels so great, and yet it doesn't diminish the good pleasure of being squeezed back. A hug is reciprocal only when it is genuinely given. A kiss is the same way. You can't focus on receiving a kiss on the lips or else both of you go limp. A kiss has to be given. This focus on giving is true in the deeper sexual relationship of a married man and woman as well. God gave us these physical examples to show us what attitude we should have in all of our relationships. A generosity is reflection of the kindness of God. Instead of focusing on getting, focus on giving, because you trust in God to give you what you need, and the delight of receiving will be even more enjoyed.